and welcome to another episode of Beauty, Wellness and Lifestyle. And today on Wellness, I'll be teaching you how to make a very simple recipe. It's about 10 minutes and that is how to make guacamole and deep fried cassava. It's very simple. All you're going to need is ripe avocados. You're going to need some coriander and garlic. If you like garlic, you're going to need some black pepper powder and salt. That is it. And if you want to choose and if you if you choose to put anything else you can put in chili you can put in cinnamon whatever you like so basically with guacamole it's basically just a dip so it's something that you eat with uh, something else to accompany it could be uh, deep fried cassava I'm going to be deep frying the cassava and showing you how to one you need to um, put your oil in the pan and let it get hot okay let it hot, when it reaches boiling point, then you just drop in the cassava, quick and simple, in less than 10 minutes, and you have a meal. So what you're going to first do is uh, cut open your avocado. The portions don't really matter. It just depends on how much you want. So get your avocado inside the bowl. Remember guys, this is a very simple, quick, inexpensive meal. I remember back in high school and campus, I used to eat this a lot. A lot of people think that guacamole is something, you know, fancy and very expensive. No, it's just avocado that is smashed and spiced, okay? So you go on, just smash it. Let me put this away. There, look at that. Nice and soft. Very beautiful. Just smash your avocado. Go ahead, get your garlic. You have to peel it. Oh, my fire is heating up. Peel it real good, you know. Get the leaves off. Ooh, my fire is getting hot. My oil is getting really, really hot. Okay. So just take your knife. You could just easily um, put this in a polythene bag and then smash it. Or if you have a mortar and pestle, you can crush your garlic in. But I prefer to just use a knife you know and just smash it simple as that chop it up you can put in as much garlic as you want be sure to make sure you're not allergic to garlic because we're not trying to get food poison now are we put your garlic in Okay, get a pinch of salt. Two pinches. <laughs> get your black pepper, you know, to add some spice in. I love spicy food. There we go. Just a bit, you know, mix that up. Mix it up, and there you go. Guacamole, easy and simple. Let me test this. Mmm, spicy. That garlic flavor is right there. I love it. You can put more chili, you can put cinnamon, you know, do whatever you want, have fun with it. Put whatever you want in your guacamole. Mm, let me try this again. Mmm, nice. Now it's time to fry my cassava. Be careful. Do not burn yourself. It's just deep fried cassava. Ah, look at that.
There you go. I already burnt some of this. Let me just get this away. We're not eating that. There you go. Now, the trick is to have your cassava already pre-boiled. Uh, it's nice and brown. Let me get this away. And there you have it. Something very simple, inexpensive, and really quick. The trick is I love my cassava a little bit brown, so that it's crispy. You know, it tastes really good. Woo! It's hot. Mm. Don't forget to put some salt. Inexpensive. Anybody can afford this. This whole meal just costs, a, is, costs less than 2,000 shillings. <laughs> you know, if you are, you know, scared to have to fry the cassava yourself, you can just go down to your local market and, you know, buy already made cassava. So get just a few, you know, sticks of cassava and you can eat it with your guacamole. Simple, easy peasy, it's quick to make. Anybody can afford this and it's really nutritious and it's also very filling. Mm. You can also have your cassava boiled. It doesn't have to be deep fried. You can just boil your cassava, you know, buy it from your local market, peel it, and then boil it for about an hour or so and eat it with guacamole. And that's all I had for you today on this segment of wellness. Keep watching Sunrise at Sea.